Hey, what's going on guys? Dopes Warner here, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to install Octoprint onto your Raspberry Pi 3 as quickly as possible. We'll need a Raspberry Pi 3, a micro SD card with a minimum of four gigs of memory, and a power USB cable for the Pi. I will be sure to include links in the description as to where you can get these. Thank you to Thomas Sandler and Dinted for your information on basically how to install the OctoPi and the OctoPrint. Um, I used that information and basically updated it all to uh, create this. So my biggest issue I ran into was the stable build as of today, April 8th. Um, it's not compatible with the Pi 3, so you want to make sure you download the latest nightly build um, that has been updated because the Pi 3 wasn't even out when the last stable build was out. So go ahead and download the uh, last nightly build. Then you're going to want to head over here to the PuTTY website and download the PuTTY.exe. Links to all these different softwares you'll need will be in the description so you don't have to worry about the URL. And lastly, download Windows 32 Disk Imager. You'll use this to flash the image over to your SD card. So once you've downloaded the OctoPrint, you're gonna extract it to your desktop, which will give you then the disk image you'll need. Once done with that, plug your SD card into your computer. And you're gonna to wanna to format it. Mine has the whole OctoPrint already set up, so I'm not gonna format mine, but I'll show you how to do it. Basically right click the SD card Go down to format and make sure you just click or unclick the uh, quick format option you want to format completely and go ahead and click start. Once done with that, open up Windows 32 disk imager that you downloaded and make sure that the device has the correct letter for your USB uh, that you want to write to, which mine is G. Then click on the folder to browse for that image, the Octoprint image you just extracted. I put mine on the desktop for simplicity and that way it was easy to find. And once you open that up, you can click write and it will write the image to your SD card. Then you want to go under the Octopi network file, which will be on your SD card. So just open your SD card and all these files will be on there. Open it up in a text editor. And you are looking for the WPA WPA2 section. Uh, make sure you backslash the uh, numeric symbol or the uh, hashtag, I don't know what the correct term is, at the front that will activate the uh, Wi-Fi section. And the SSID, you're going to enter in your network name, make sure you spell it correctly, or else you will not be able to connect to Wi-Fi. And the uh, below that is going to be where you're going to type the password that you use to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once done with that, just go ahead and save that document. And you can close out of it. And you can eject your SD card. So basically right click on it and click eject. And you can go ahead and plug it into your Raspberry Pi 3 on the bottom along with the power cable and the uh, printer or uh, webcam, whatever you're going to be hooking up to it. Then you're going to have to find the IP address that was assigned to your OctoPrint. You can either go and log into your router, which is done various ways depending on which router you have, or if you go under File Explorer and click Network, hopefully, hopefully, again, I guess there potentially is times where this won't be here, but hopefully uh, Octoprint will actually pop up on your network and all you have to do is double click it. And it'll give you your IP, which is in the taskbar or in the uh, URL, as you can see right there. So either copy that um, or write it down. You'll need to use it a few times. Next, go under Command Prompt and type in ping followed by the IP for the OctoPrint. And basically you just wanna see that it is connecting with the OctoPrint and sending and receiving packets, which it is, which is great. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you turn off your firewall. I have two, so I have to um, deactivate my Avast as well as the built-in Windows firewall. I noticed that if I didn't do this, I was having uh, troubles connecting to the Octo uh, print or the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see here under Windows Firewall mine has been disconnected but basically all you do is go to the turn Windows Firewall on or off option and make sure you turn them off. Make sure you don't forget to turn them back on <laughs> afterwards but yeah mine are off now. Then you're gonna go ahead and open up PuTTY type in your IP address and click open. You will need to type in your username and password, which by default is pi as the username and raspberry as the password. 
Then if you type PASSWD and hit enter, you can change the password, which is something I recommend doing. So basically it'll have you enter in Raspberry one more time and then you can choose whatever you want to set the new password to. Next, you want to type in sudo raspi-config and hit enter and select the first option out of the menu and hit enter. Hopefully you'll be greeted with this screen. The partition has been resized and uh, click OK. Then after that, go down to finish. It'll ask you if you want to reboot. Make sure you click OK or yes. And once that is done, you can go ahead and exit out of that and open up a browser window where you will then type in your IP address one more time, which is again, how you're gonna to connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi running Octoprint. And if everything went smoothly, you should be greeted with this Octoprint is starting up, please wait. Um, because mine is already installed, I don't have the like initial greeting screen, which will basically ask you to create a username and password and whether you want to make it where you need a username and password when you log into Octoprint or not. Um, it is recommended that you do have a username and password because otherwise anyone on your network can, you know, control your printer, heat it up, but it could cause a fire. I mean, chances are you'll be fine. But um, for me, I don't have anyone that would mess with it, but I still kept the password, username and password on. So once you are here, this is the Octoprint interface. You can click connect, which will connect to your printer. And as you can see, it's saying detecting baud rate and operational, meaning that I have full control of my 3D printer. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped you out. Um, and I know that I went through it extremely quickly. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but again, my goal with my tutorials is to hammer them out as quickly as possible and not give any information additional that's not really needed. Um, I don't like really long tutorials. And so that's my goal, like do this, do this, do that, do this, and it works. So um, again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and either I will do my best or I'm sure there's a lot of other knowledgeable people that um, view my channel can hopefully help you out. And on that note, I will see you guys later. Dope Swanner and I'm out. Peace guys.